How's it going guys? This is Art. Haven't been on this page and haven't uploaded anything on this page in a really long time. And um, I was skimming through YouTube and I found my tutorials on there. And um, I didn't see see the feedback you guys gave me. There's like a lot of views on them. And I didn't realize the impact I was doing. And um, I'm more than happy to help you guys in um, doing what you got to do. Um, one thing I noticed though, the one I have the most views on is... Um, how to play a lonely September by the plain white tees and I clicked on a video and for some reason it's fuzzy now which is it sucks but I'm gonna teach you guys that again and we're gonna do this quick because I'm a fast teacher and you're gonna be a fast learner as long as you learn with me uh, just make sure you please subscribe and um, the more subscriptions the more I'm gonna be added to teach you guys songs and um, I'll be on this I promise and Let's uh, let's get going. So let's get to this, guys. All right. So basically, anything from the fifth fret beyond, um, you're not gonna play anything here. So worry about one through four, pretty much that you're gonna play. They're all pretty much easy chords to play. So if you're learning how to play guitar, they might be a little bit difficult for you. But regardless, you need to learn these chords to turn this E into that E or something, you know. But um, let's start off with the chord D. D is two from the bottom going up. Two, three, two, open. That's a D. All right. Now we're gonna go to an A. An A is gonna be from the bottom up, open on the bottom one. Two, 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 open. Because the open one is also an A, so that's an A. Now we have an E from the bottom up, open, open. One, two, two, zero. All right. Then we have a B major flat, a G, a G flat major. I think it's called. Um, this is gonna be easier if I show you from the top to the bottom. Okay, it's gonna be on two on the first string, then on the second string four, then on the third string four. Then you're gonna bar the bar. You're gonna bar it down. Um, what that means is pretty much the way to learn it is when you press it down really hard You can hear every note there, which is a good thing. So when you have these two These are the only two that differ from the rest just bar this down And that's your your G flat major whatever it's called I'm not even too sure what it's called to be honest with you. I think I'm right though. So those are your chords now Let's get to the song the intro is easy and then the song itself is repetitive for the whole song so I'm gonna teach you the chorus and the verse and that's the song to figure out what to play from there because these chords are what you play for those songs for this song okay so we start off with um, an A strumming so we're gonna strum it up okay and we're gonna let it ring out so it's gonna be alright so that's the intro but what they do in the intro too is um he strums it up. So he counts to three when he taps it. He's like one, two, three. From there, he goes to the E, the E chord. You already know what that is. So you strum it. Okay. So you go from the E from there. Now let's try it for the intro. That's the intro. Now we're gonna go to the verse. I'm gonna teach you the verse. You go to that G flat major thing, and it's gonna be. Alright. From there you go to the D, to the A, to the E. That's the whole verse. You replay it and repeat it over and over is those four chords. Now let's try the intro on full speed. That's the intro. Because once you hit this chord, you're in the verse. Let's try the intro to the verse on full speed. Okay, let's try that. Now you have the whole song, all you need now is the chorus. The chorus is easy. 
you're gonna go from D to E to A. But on A, you're strumming what you would strum the, the next chord of those four chords, you're strumming A twice, um, two full times. So if you don't know what I'm saying, here's, here's how it's supposed to sound. See how I stayed on that note longer than the rest of the chords? All right, so that part's kind of, I mean, if you don't get it, then I'll sing it to it. I'll sing to it, but, you know, excuse my voice. And I didn't mean for this to go as far as it did. That's it. That's the whole chorus. Now back to the verse. Another thing I do that makes it a little bit easier if you're a beginner, instead of having to put all three fingers here, the intro it does use it for sure. It's like, but after you do the intro, you can literally just put your finger on top of this and just bar down these three, three these three notes, which is two, two, two. So I tend to do that a lot. Some people like just doing the complete eight. But you can do that. Alright, one more thing too. The, um, let's get the bridge. The bridge is D open to G. That's the whole bridge. So. And um, that's pretty much the whole song. Um, Here's the, the, the strumming pattern. Just just copy me, all right? That's the strumming pattern. Um, some people ask me up, down, up, down. Um, this song, it doesn't really matter as long as, well, it does matter, but it's down. So it's down, down, up, up, down, up. Down, down, up, up, down, up. That's the, the strumming pattern. Now you know the complete song, and it's been Art Request Your Song, and I'm tired of seeing videos on YouTube where they make it sound difficult. Dude, it's an easy song, and I hope you can learn it. I wish you the best, and make sure you subscribe and rate five stars if you can. I have that video. It's like 10,000 views, and it just went shit. So if you can give me that many views again on this video, um, then... You'll be awesome. Thanks a lot, and I hope you enjoyed it. <clears throat>